But first, we begin this evening with a news alert out of Tampa, where just two hours ago, Tampa's police chief announced some arrests in the deadly shooting outside the Lit Cigar and Martini Lounge. And that's where we find 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido with the very latest. Angie? Well, Dave and Carolina, these two men that Tampa Police Department has been looking for for about two weeks have been arrested. Chief Mary O'Connor tells me 22-year-old Josue Clavel and 32-year-old Damaso Bravo were arrested just hours ago by the U.S. Marshal's Office in Brownsville, Texas. They were found there hiding in a hotel with their girlfriends in $20,000 in cash. I'm also told that they are members of the Latin Kings gang. Take a look at what these two men look like. We're going to show you some um, images from surveillance videos. Video that captured them the night that this happened. Um, you're going to see a man dressed in white. That is Josue Clavel. Police believe he is the one who pulled the trigger, killing a 30 year old man and injuring six others. He's charged with first degree murder. Damaso Bravo is dressed in black. He is charged with three counts of aggravated battery and a felon in possession of a firearm. Now, this shooting, one of several that have happened in this area, but Chief O'Connor wants the community to know they're doing all they can to keep people in this city safe. But we want our residents and our visitors to feel safe in our entertainment venues. I think the thing to stress here to the community is that we are absolutely going to find you if you commit gun violence in the city of Tampa. Now, Chief O'Connor says in this case, they worked tirelessly to get these two men off the street. Police say the two got into a dispute with a wedding party that was at the lounge. Clave left to get a gun and fired into the crowd that was outside. Now, right now, they're working on the extradition of these two men to bring them back to Tampa to hold them accountable. Um, Chief tells me that that could take several days. Without a doubt, in her mind, she tells me she is confident that the two of them may have tried to cross the border into Texas to avoid punishment. We're live tonight in Tampa. Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.